Hi, welcome to Numeric's video blog. I'm your host, Jim Jocko. Joining me today is Justin Taylor, Chief Executive Officer of Vector Risk and Long-Term Partner. Justin, how are you? Oh, very good, thank you. Happy to be here. So we are uh, here at Next, uh, the Numeric's User Conference, and uh, 365 days ago, we introduced the Numeric's Vector Risk Partnership, uh, specifically around uh, FRTB. So uh, what's been going on in the last 12 months? Well, um, I guess where we are now, we know that within the next approximately a year that banks are going to have to complete their models and go along and get uh, regulatory approval for them. Um, now you might think this is exactly where we were last year, um, but I think the mood's definitely changed. So you know, if you wound back 12 months, you'd find you know, banks are still trying to get over the shock of being told they need to use their front office models. Um, and front office systems aren't designed to do risks. I think that was a real problem for them. Equally, they've looked at the regulations and you know, they were indignant about some of the gaps, uh, particularly around the P&L attribution test and the standardised floor. And so um, you know, I think there was a, a great deal of dissent. If we sort of moved on for the next, uh, to where we are now, you know, things have changed. Where are the regulators today? Uh, uh, you know, a lot of lessons learned over the past 12 months, uh, good market feedback. Um, so what are the regulators thinking uh, as, as there's been clearly some delays uh, in the rollout here? Yeah, I think they've, they've clarified uh, you know, with the p &L attribution test, they know there are problems. They haven't worked out exactly how they'll resolve them, but they're accepting that there are issues. Um, with the standardized floor, uh, they've, they've now leaked quite widely that it's going to be between 70 and 75 percent and and that's not just sort of trading capital but actually uh, wholesale capital in total so uh, and in addition to that um, in, in January this year they uh, as part of the frequently asked questions they pointed out that you could use um, rates different rates for different um, time zones which I guess is a sort of nod to the capacity to use a centralised risk system instead of a, a decentralised one. So arguably enough, we've figured out that the world is round. <laughs> so uh, given the delays and uncertainty, where is FRTV in the prioritisation of many banks at this point in time? Is it um, still a working group or is it now um, still being considered um, you know, critical funding uh, for ongoing projects uh, going through uh, 2018? Well, I think the regulator gave banks the, the sort of gift of one year, um, and I don't think they're likely to repeat that. The, the larger banks, they were always going to sort of build it your own, take that approach. They started three or four years ago. That gap, if you like, that one year off, hasn't really had any impact other than to give them more breathing room to actually complete their projects. For, for smaller banks, middle-sized banks, they've sort of stepped back, I think, and said, well, we'll take the gift, we'll take the year off, we'll wait to see um, what happens, whether some of these issues are resolved, and we'll let the, the larger banks sort of do the heavy lifting, if you like. So, um, over the past month, obviously, a lot of development is still kind of going into the system. What are the uh, key enhancements that have been introduced within, uh, within the numeric factor risk solution? Yeah, I guess when you look at the, you initially sort of focus just on the, the standard model and the internal model. Um, but you know we completed that work some time ago, so we've been rounding out the offering um, with the P&L attribution test, back testing, um, the standard approach to CVA, which is a really computationally intense calculation, as well as the internal model for default risk charge. So I'd say they're, they're probably up the main developments we've completed recently. And speaking about computationally intense, one of the exciting things over the past 12 months has been a new partner to the mix. So not just Numerics, not just Vectoris, but Microsoft and the availability of Numerics FRTB on the Microsoft App Store. Uh, tell us, what is the near-term future for this relation, uh, joint party relationship? Uh, we love working with Microsoft. We, we're in a, we focus on Azure because it, it really works well for high-performance computing. It's easy to configure. It's, it's got a lot of advantages. But um, you know, when you look at it, the FRTB is a perfect application for cloud technology. And cloud technology has really gained momentum, I'd say, in the last 12 months. So you know, it requires a lot of computational intensity, a lot of infrastructure, but at the same time, the outputs are prescribed, so they're not something you can pick and choose. So it, I think it's a really good match, and um, we, we hope it works out well. well 
Thank you so much, Justin. And of course, the uh, Numerics FRTB is available on the Microsoft App Store. You can uh, view a video, get a demo of that right on the App Store, and it's available for a free trial right from there as well. I want to thank you so much again for uh, delighting us here at Next 2017. Of course, uh, we expect that you'll be here for your Next 2018, especially as FRTB moves back into the importance of management priority. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Jim. Awesome. Thank you, Justin. And of course, we want to talk about the topics you want to talk about. Us about please follow us on LinkedIn and on Twitter at NX Analytics. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.